dear students in our previous class we discussed about the properties of acids most of you ask uh, again to explain the properties of acids because uh, some of you didn't understand the class exactly so and also some of you complain about the clarity of the uh, image so i again going through the same uh, first the taste the taste of the acid is sour acids are sour in taste we already discussed and uh, we discussed about some acids Le Lem uh, citric acid ethanoic acid tar tar tartaric acid lactic acid etc all acids are sour in taste so on property of acid another property is action on indicators uh, we already discussed uh, all the action of acids to indicators litmus it turns to red phenolphthalein turns colorless methyl on turns red then the third property is conduction of electricity and dissociation of water dissociation of acids conduction of electricity and dissociation of acid dissociation is the word opposite to association association means combination and dissociation means uh, separating out uh, when uh, we know acid uh, is produced uh, from two gases for example uh, hcl is a gas hydrochloric acid uh, hcl is a gas because hydrogen is gas chlorine is another gas it form from hydrochlo hydrogen chloride hcl is also a gas when hcl mixes in water it turns to hydrochloric acid hcl when we mix hcl to water it changes as hydrochloric acid at that time hcl separates h plus and cl minus this is known as uh, dissociation when acids are dissolved in water they produce ions this uh, process is known as dissociation we know ions are charged particles electricity uh, electric flow is the flow of uh, charged particles so uh, dissociation of acid help helps the con uh, conduction of electricity in gases form hcl didn't show the property of acid it shows the property of acid only when dissolved in water and also when acid dissolved in water it shows it conducts electricity i think you understand dissociation dissociation means hcl uh, mixed in water so, so soluble in water it separates h plus and cl minus then this h plus again join to water then forms h3o plus that means hydronium ions this hydronium ions help the conduction of electricity then related to this dissociation of acid we Uh, sub classified acid in two groups strong acid and weak acid in the case of strong acid which completely dissociate in water when hcl add to water it completely dissociate in water that means it produce a strong acid hcl hbr etc etc for example in the case of weak acid it partially dissociate in water not completely dissociates it partially dissociate in water uh, the organic acids just like our vinegar for example vinegar x are weak acids which partially uh, dissociate in water then uh reaction of acid with metals it is detailedly ex uh, explained in your text i will uh, show this ppt to understand easily acid 
plus metal gives salt plus hydrogen gas when acid react with metals produce salt and hydrogen gas example 2hcl plus zn gives zncl2 plus h2 we detailedly explained in previous class then metal with acid with metal carbonate produce salt plus carbon dioxide plus water for example 2hcl plus nhco3 gives 2NaCl plus CO2 plus H2O. When metal acid react with metal hydrogen carbonate, also produce salt carbon dioxide plus water. When acid react with metallic oxides, acid plus metal oxide gives salt plus water. Acid also react with base to produce salt and water. We will discuss later. The last property of acid is corrosive na nature. Acids are corrosive in nature. That means it destructs, it damages other substances. Now we are going to discuss about the properties of bases. First, uh, taste and touch. The taste of a uh, base is bitter and it feels soapy while touching. Our soap is also a base. The soapy feeling of soap is the property of a base. Then action on indicators. It also we already discussed. Uh, it uh, base turns litmus to blue, phenolphthalein to pink and methyl orange to yellow. Conduction of electricity and dissociation of base. In the case of acid we discussed dissociation similarly in the case of base also dissociation means separating OH minus ions for example KOH or NaOH sodium hydroxide is a base when we mix sodium hydroxide to water it separates Na plus OH minus this OH minus ions helps in the uh, conduction of electricity and also the Bases which are soluble in water are known as alkalis. Bases which are soluble in water known as alkalis. Again, strong and weak bases. Strong base means the bases which are completely dissociated in water to form uh, OH minus ions. KOH, NaOH, etc. examples. In the case of weak bases, do not furnish OH ions by dissociation, which do not produce OH, ion, OH minus ions when dissociation. NH4OH, for example, when we uh, mix uh, NH4OH with water, we get NH3 plus H2O. That means which do not produce OH minus ions. When bases react with the metals to produce salt and hydrogen gas, just like acid. For example, zinc is a metal, NaOH is sodium hydroxide is a base to produce sodium zincate, Na2ZnO2 plus H2. We already studied about the chemical reactions and equations, so I simply explained all this. Then reaction of bases with non-metal oxides. We discussed uh, the reaction of acids with metal oxides and now we are discussing reaction of bases with non-metal oxides. Just like carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide etc. Base react with non-metal oxides produce salt and water. Uh, for example, calcium hydroxide react with carbon dioxide produce calcium carbonate and water. Now we are going to discuss about the reaction of acid with base or base with acid. When acid react with base produce salt and hydrogen gas. This process is known as neutralization. Neutralization means acid and bases react with each other to produce salt and water. Acid plus base gives salt plus water. HCl plus NaOH gives NaCl plus 
एच टू ओ साल्ट इज ऑब्टेंड वेन हाइड्रोजन ऑफ एसिड इज रीप्लेड बै दि मेटल एन ए ओ एच इज रीप्लेड बै सी एल एन ए सी एल इज ए साल्ट एन ए सी एल इज ए कोम साल्ट वि नोर्मी यूस्ड इन अवर फुड प्रिप्रेशन In the property of acid, we discussed the metallic oxide reaction of metal oxide with acid. When metal oxide react with acid, produce salt and hydrogen gas. That means metal oxides are basic in nature. When acid react with base, produce salt plus hydrogen gas. Similarly, metal oxide react with acid. produce salt and hydrogen gas that means metal oxides are basic in nature metallic oxide react with acid to give salt and water that means metal oxides are basic in nature similarly non metal oxides are acidic in nature because non metal oxides react with base to produce salt and water anything Uh, which produce salt and water should be acid and base that means non metal oxides are acidic oxide acidic in nature and metal oxides are basic in nature some oxides show both acidic and basic nature uh, these oxides are known as amphoteric oxides and uh, which shows both properties of acid and bases these are the main property of soft acid and base both acid and base we use in our daily life um so in the case of our daily usage we use acid and base in many purposes we can discuss it in detail later now we are going to discuss about role of water in dissociation of acid and bases acid and bases dissociate only in the presence of water we can uh, do the same with the use of hcl gas hcl gas do not show the property of acid that means it do not change the color of litmus when we dip the litmus in water and uh, put it in the presence of hcl gas it returns its color because hcl shows acidic nature only in the presence of water similarly sodium hydroxide is a base which shows its a uh, basic nature only in the presence of water but naoh is hygros hygroscopic that means when we put naoh in the in open air it absorbs moisture from air and shows its uh, basic nature we already discussed the exothermic process exothermic means uh, the reaction which produce heat when we add water to the uh, acid it produce uh, heat that means it is exothermic reactions we discussed about the dissociation of acid and base the water also dissociates itself that means self dissociation of water when we put h2o that means water in a beaker it dissociates itself as h plus and oh minus ions but the uh, quantity is extremely small we can identify the uh, dissociation self dissociation of water in our Uh, naked eye or in our daily experiments but h2 also uh, dissociate as h plus and oh minus ions similarly this h plus and oh minus ions uh, join and form water both uh, process continuously uh, ongoing in our nature that represents in the uh, two side arrow mark h2 plus h2 gives h plus oh minus ion similarly h plus plus oh minus gives h2o
if h plus the number of h plus ions is equal to o h minus ions that means the solution is neutral we can stop our class today tomorrow we can discuss about the neutral acidic and basic solutions